YouTube man, thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Fresh, and we are back at it again with another video. And to my fresh fam, thank y'all so much for always tuning in with your boy. Last but not least, I want to thank me. As you can tell by the title of the video, we have yet another new toy added to the collection. And if you didn't check the title, what is that you may ask? This bad boy right here. Finally got my hands on the Smith and Wesson MMP 10 millimeter, and this ain't just your regular 10 millimeter either. This is the performance in the mind. So without further ado, let's get this thing on the tabletop so we can get it unboxed. Yeah! Yeah! All right, Fresh fans, so now that we got this bad boy on the tabletop, right at face value, I am grateful for a hard shell case. I love the plastic hard shell cases over the kind of paper box, cardboard box style um, gun boxes. So I'm always thankful for one of these because it's, it makes storage a lot better, as well as you can reuse these things if you want to take it to the range. So let's open this bad boy up. Voila! All right, so look what we have here. Typical Smith & Wesson, you always get a few goodies added in. It's not just the gun and the mag. Um, under here, you have your gun lock right here. So, of course, that's mandatory. And then you have some Smith & Wesson Performance Center owner's manual. So, we don't need to see that. We'll leave that tucked in here. As you can see, typical m and which I love. I got a ton of these now. You get your interchangeable back straps or pistol grip back straps. Um, so that you're able to adjust for comfortability on the MMPs. As you can see, you got medium large here. This one has an S on it for small. And then this one right here says large, all right? So we'll play around with that off camera to see which one best fits our hands. But I got so many of these things right now, I already know which backstrap I'm going to run and I think it's already on there. And here goes your optics base place right here. So you're able to run whatever red dot optic that you want on top here. So that's super cool. We're gonna put that to the side. You're getting one additional magazine and it is a 15 round capacity. So 15 rounds of 10 mil can't hurt or will it? <laughs> that would be the only joke that would be told here this evening. All right, child. So what we all came here for. Woo wee. Man, this thing is looking good. As you see, you got the chamber flag in there, but let's go ahead and render this thing safe. We'll go ahead and pop that mag out. As you can see, 15 rounder right there. Yep, and as I suspect, it's got the medium back strap on here. Man, the stippling on the M&P pistols is always super aggressive, and I love it because I have sweaty, clammy hands, so this allows me to get a good grip on the pistol. As you can see, you're getting that protruded ambidextrous slide release, slide lock right here. As you can see, you have an ambidextrous thumb mount of safety. I'm a fan of the thumb mount of safeties now, man. It's starting to grow on me a lot more, man. I really like that. So that's dope. And like I mentioned before, here goes your optics cutout right here so you could throw in your red dot. I didn't notice that on the pictures. Hopefully I'm not too close. Can y'all get a good sight picture there? Those are night sights. And it seems like there's suppressor height, so you'll be able to co-witness with that red dot as well too if you wanted to run a red dot on there. As you can see, you have some slide cutouts up top and these are some functional cutouts. As you can see the top ones here, line up perfectly with that barrel right there so this is a ported barrel i love when smith and wesson ports the barrel let me go ahead and drop that slide and as you can see those ports in that barrel line up perfectly with those slide cutouts this reminds me too on my competitor those three little slits on the side right there remind me um of what they did with the competitor as well too which i love i think it just adds to the aesthetics of it as well and i'm sure those cutouts help kind of balance it off um, and help manage some of that recoil along with that port right there. All right, child, so let's test out the trigger. So we'll give it a rack, engage that trigger safety, little bit of take up there. Ooh, I like that. Very crisp, very snappy, very tactile break. Let's check out that reset. Nice, nice, just a a very small amount of travel on that reset, which is really nice. 
and then you're able to engage that trigger right back. So this is a very nice trigger. It feels like this is an updated trigger. This trigger feels really nice. It feels really intentional. I can't wait to get this thing on the range to see how this trigger feels with some live fire. As you can see, it's a very thick frame, very solid frame, but that's to be expected. Shooting a big boy bear round such as this 10 millimeter right here. This is crazy, man. It feels like quality. I mean, this thing really has some some weight to it as well too. It just feels like a man's gun when you holding this bad boy right here. As you can see up top, you do have a chamber window. So you're able to see if you have a live round in the chamber. As you can see down bottom, you're getting a real nice railing system down there. So of course, you know, I'm gonna throw on a nice little flashlight on this bad boy, but you could throw on a flashlight, a laser or throw on a combo. So that's sweet, run a nice red dot. Um, I did order a base plate extension it holds 15 which i think is more than enough but i want to run a base plate extension on his well too um, to add a few more extra rounds on this and i just want to show you how to interchange those back straps you would just take this tool out and this tool doubles as an anchor for the back strap as well as a punch tool so if you wanted to punch out any pins in this platform out the frame you're able to use this tool here and then you'll just simply just pull off the back straps and you can interchange these like so. Simple, quick, and easy. Voila. Put this back in, twist it, and you are good to go. So you can interchange these out if you're going with a range partner or your significant other or family member and they want to shoot and they're uncomfortable with your setup, you can easily on spot change out the back straps in two easy quick seconds and be able to customize it to whoever you're shooting with so they can get some enjoyment out of this thing as well too as you can see it also has a slightly protruded magazine release so that's really cool it's not flat and flush but it's not sticking out too far to the point you might engage it while actually live firing this thing so i like that it's just tastefully elevated well family i think we don't went over this thing enough I'm super excited to get this thing to the gun range to see how this thing handles. So I imagine this thing is going to be super smooth while still having a nice tasteful amount of kick. Goodness, look at her. I mean, Smith & Wesson has really been taking their time, putting more detail, more flavor into the guns, man. And they are doing a great job. I mean, she looks sexy, man. Like I mentioned before, I had my eyes on the 45. So when they came out with the 10 mil, I just couldn't hesitate, man. So I'm very excited about it, man. Super excited. I mean, it just... Look at the whiff of this bad boy, man. Whew. Bear gun for show, and then check out that barrel. I hate to be on the bad end of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But listen, guys, if y'all feeling this sexy beast right here, man, don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you got them post notifications turned on because y'all got to see the first shots of this bad boy. Comment down below what's your thoughts on 10 millimeter. And if you haven't already, man, consider hitting that subscribe button to join the Fresh Fam. Because I keep telling y'all, we ain't going nowhere. But until the next time, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.